Are mini trucks a threat to the Toyota Tacoma? Gotta admit, I find them a little interesting. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. So I've been wondering, are the mini trucks a threat to the Toyota Tacoma? Could they take a bite out of the Toyota Tacoma sales? You know, I've seen a few of them out there. There aren't too many, but a, a couple anyway. And I got to admit, I find them a little bit interesting myself, a little bit intriguing. So I was having a thought, and I want an opinion from you guys. I want to see what you think about what I'm considering. Before I get into that, if you're new or you've been hanging around and you just haven't done it, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. So let's get into it. What am I talking about? Well, first of all, I'm sure you're aware there are many trucks out there now. We have the Ford Maverick, we have the Hyundai Santa Cruz, and there are some other ones coming. There's even an electric, it's the Rivian. I'd call that a mini truck, but of course it's an electric. But still, every little truck can take a piece, a bite out of the Toyota Tacoma. So I've been thinking myself, you know, I do find them interesting. I've never had a, a little truck other than the Toyota Tacoma, which I don't really consider to be a little truck. I mean, it's really pretty good size. Certainly much bigger than they used to be when they first came out. Do you remember how small they were? You know, I see them on the roads every once in a while. And I gotta admit, I love them. Problem is trying to find one and then the power that they have. I mean, if you go way back to when they first came out, they're really pretty gutless. But nonetheless, I really do like them. I just can't find one that's in good shape that doesn't cost like 50 grand or something. So that brings me to these micro trucks, mini trucks, whatever you want to call them. What I'm thinking, and this is where I want your opinion. I'm not replacing the Tacoma with one of these trucks. That's for certain. There will always be a Tacoma on this channel. I mean, it's built around the Tacoma, the channel that is, and I love the Tacoma. So it's not going anywhere, even if they come out with something that's a little bit different than what we have now. And of course, I'm talking about the four cylinder turbo. I'll have to experience that myself. I'm actually more interested in an electric Tacoma, particularly the one that they kind of showed the little snippet of. If you've checked it out on the web, and I'll put a little picture right up here, I find that one to be pretty darn good looking. So aesthetically, I do like the truck. And I've mentioned before, you know, I always fall in love with every vehicle that I buy, and I've already fallen in love with this one. I just can't get it yet. So what I'm thinking, you know, I have a third channel now. I actually have three channels. Of course, Rob Motive, this one, and then Rob Motive JT, which is about Jeep Gladiators and Jeep Wranglers. And then the third one is Rob Motive FST about full-size trucks. I currently have the Ram 1500 on that channel. Um, what I'm thinking is maybe adding one to that FST channel. Maybe, maybe even trading the Ram in for one of these mini trucks because I want to experience it and I think it's worth starting or changing that channel, if you will, to mini trucks because it's a whole different segment. It's something new. There aren't a lot of other channels out there that deal with them. I mean, some of the creators have thrown one in here or there, but there's really nothing dedicated to it. And I think it'd be pretty cool to have because I do believe that we're headed that way. I think eventually the segment is gonna be the great big giant trucks and maybe still the midsize, which I think there will be, like the Tacomas, the Colorados, the Rangers, all those, we're still gonna have that segment. But there is definitely gonna be a third and that will be the mini trucks. You know, my thinking is there are really three choices for me to add to that FST channel, which by the way, if you haven't checked it out, it is Rob Motive FST. Um, right now about full-size trucks. But we have the, the Ford Maverick, which I guess is very popular. From everything I've seen and heard about it, 
Uh, it's doing very well, so well that Ford actually paused the ordering of those trucks. And I don't know if it's been changed, if now you can order one or not, but they did pause it. You couldn't order them for a while anyway. So that's how popular they are. Second is the Hyundai Santa Cruz. And I know it's, it's a wacky looking thing. Some would argue it's really not even a truck. It's more of a, an El Camino type thing, which I would agree with, but it does have a bed. Uh, it is a, I think, the definition of micro truck. If there is a micro truck out there, it certainly is the Santa Cruz. And the one thing I like about that version is you can get a bigger engine in it, which means you can get more power. And it's probably not like any of these are really powerful anyway, but it would be interesting to me to be able to compare it to the new Tacoma that's coming once it's released, either at the end of this year or maybe next year. Um, for comparison's sake, because we know the Toyota Tacoma is going to have a four-cylinder turbo. So how is that going to fare against these other four-cylinder turbos? I think it would be very interesting to see. Not to mention the differences in technology and options and drivability and all the stuff that goes with it. And can you mod these trucks? You know, in looking at the Maverick, I saw they have a hybrid. And that hybrid, I think, is rated at 42 miles per gallon or something like that. So I'm not sure that you really want to stick bigger wheels and tires or at least heavier tires on that truck because you know what's going to happen to the mileage then, right? But I am curious, if you did that, would it be more in line with just a regular four-cylinder turbo? My guess is probably so. Now, there is a third. There is rumor, and I think it's pretty set that Ford is going to be releasing a Ford Ranger Raptor. That sounds very interesting to me, depending upon what they put in it engine-wise. It's got to be something bigger. It's got to be powerful. The other thing is, what are they going to charge for it? I mean, is it going to be a $70,000 mid-sized truck? Eh, I don't know. I'd probably have an issue spending that kind of money really on any truck. If I'm going to spend 70, 80 grand, it's going to be on a sports car or something, you know? But that's what I'm thinking. So again, what I'm curious, and leave a comment. Again, I am not getting rid of the Toyota Tacoma or replacing it with a mini or a micro truck. But I am thinking of adding one to the Rob Motive FST channel. Leave a comment. I'd be curious. Is there any interest in that out there? Do you guys wonder what they're like? Let me know. Also, again, real quick, if you didn't in the beginning... Make sure you smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. I do have, as I stated, two additional channels. Rob Motive JT, all about Jeeps, primarily the Jeep Gladiators. And Rob Motive FST, all about full-size trucks at the moment. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching. Stay curious out there. Bye.